Supercoder's Bone Coder offers a fast, intuitive approach to finding ICD-10-CM codes. We'll work through an example to get a better understanding of Bone Coder's streamlined workflow solution. Suppose your chart shows an initial encounter for an oblique fracture of the left fibula shaft. It's a closed fracture that is not displaced. Start with the menu options to choose the nature of the diagnosis. Our sample diagnosis is a fracture, which is an injury, so click Injury on the menu. When you click the type of diagnosis, you'll see new features appear. For instance, after you click Injury, you see a box with internal organs on the bottom left. Clicking the internal organ image brings up a new screen to help you drill down to diagnosis codes for specific injuries. You'll find similar images throughout Bone Coder to get you to the code you need. Our sample diagnosis involves the leg bone, so click the skeleton to return to the screen with the skeletal anatomy. Another feature that appears when you click Injury is an informational box on the right that explains what the injury section includes and gives related coding tips. Our sample diagnosis is a fracture, so your next step is to click Fractures on the left side of the page. The Fracture screen then opens and the Coding Tips box changes to be more specific to fractures and share helpful ICD-10 guidelines. Keeping the sample fracture diagnosis in mind, take a closer look at the skeleton image. The fracture involves the left fibula, so your next action is to click the lower left leg. Clicking the lower leg reveals new options related to relevant anatomy and specific types of diagnoses like stress fracture. These new options help you narrow your code selection. Our fracture is in the shaft of the fibula, so the next step is to click that option. In the next list, click oblique to match our case. Don't worry about having to start over if you make a mistake. You can click to get back to the area you want to redo. For our example, we do want to select oblique. The next detail conveniently at hand is that the patient's fracture is not displaced. Bone Coder presents 7th character options when the ICD-10 code for your diagnosis requires a 7th character. In our case, we're reporting an initial encounter for a closed fracture, so mark this first box. That 7th digit is the last detail we need for our code. Take a moment to appreciate the time savings of what we just did compared to searching through a seemingly endless list to find the one code that meets every tiny detail ICD-10 requires you to capture. Let's check out our results on Bone Coder. There's even more than you can see here, but let's start with the code on the bottom left of the screen. You see the code's official descriptor, so you know you have the proper code for your case. You'll see one box has the code with the decimal and one has no decimal. You can use either for another work-saving feature from Bone Coder. You can left-click, drag, and drop the code into another program or document. If you right-click the code, you'll see that you have automatically copied the code so you can paste it into a separate program or document too. The other place you'll see your ICD-10 code listed is on the top right of the screen, and you can drag and drop codes from this list too. The right-click option is also available here. But there's another benefit to using this list. Let's suppose this patient also has a femur fracture that falls under S72.361A. The code appears on your list. Bone Coder lets you drag and drop all of your codes at one time. Start by left-clicking code at the top of the list, and then drag the codes to where you want to place them. When you start by left-clicking code and text, you can even drag and drop the codes with the official descriptors. Clicking the arrow on the top of the code list expands the list to reveal bonus information for your code. In the expanded list, you see the code's official descriptor, but you also see a column with the ICD-9 codes that cross to your ICD-10 codes. You also see a box that says CPT, which you can click. The CPT link opens a new box featuring the CPT codes commonly reported together with the diagnosis. When you're ready to return to the main screen, you can click the arrow on the top left. Back on the main screen, take note of all the information supplied on the right half of the screen. This is another location where you can see the ICD-9 code that crosses your ICD-10 diagnosis. You'll also see notes from ICD-10 and other helpful information to keep your coding on the right track, like synonyms and index information. 
If your list includes codes that conflict based on an excludes note, Phone Coder will give you a warning that guidelines forbid you from reporting the two together. When you click the blue arrow to the left of the code, Phone Coder pulls that code's information to the screen. If you no longer need one of the codes, you can click the X to the left of the code. When you're finished with your list, you can clear all of the codes with a single click. Sometimes you may want to search for a specific code or a specific term, and Bone Coder can take care of that too. Choose Text Search on the bottom right side of the box to search a specific term. For instance, you may choose to search for the term diabetes to see related codes. You also can search for a code by choosing ICD-10 Search. Note how as I start to enter N20.0, Phone Coder is already producing a possible list before I finish typing. This feature can help you be sure you've chosen the most appropriate code from the category. Click the Code or Descriptor in Term Search or ICD-10 Search to automatically add the code to your Bone Coder list. To get the complete Bone Coder experience, check your options at the top of the page. For instance, if you don't want to see index entries in your final result, click Hide Indexing. You also can add provider names, which will appear at the top of the screen while you work. Or if you want to see the authoritative sources for guidelines, choose ICD-10 Guidelines or CMS's ICD-10 site from Resources. You can start your next super quick code search at any time by clicking the nature of the diagnosis so BoneCoder can guide you to the exact ICD-10 code you need.